process where your offense is, where you're Is this the last week? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even count days or anything. No. I, I, anyway, things, uh, <laughs> you know, it's been productive, obviously, very productive. Some guys have had to grow up very quickly, and, and you know, we've had our, our, our peaks and our valleys, which is understandable through the rigors of camp, but overall, I like the approach the guys have taken. We've had to kind of smack them on the butt a few times to get them going, but overall, uh, they, they've come to work every day, and, and we're happy about that. Do you feel like you could go play with any of those four quarterbacks right now? They, they've all been very um, very attentive, very astute. They, they, they have a firm grasp of what we're doing offensively, so yes. Mike, are you frustrated that maybe one of those guys hasn't said, hey, with their place, said, hey, I'm the one the guy who made me the starter? I'm not frustrated. They're all competing hard. Uh, if, if, if they were all throwing interceptions left and right and, and you know not completing any balls, then I'd be worried. But they're all competing, and, and um, that, that's that's a good thing. Do you think it's important or necessary to go into game preparation knowing who your starter is, or, or is it one of those things where you're just gonna you don't necessarily have to go into next week having a guy that you pick? We always talk to our guys about preparing as if you're the starter anyway. So it's not a big deal from their mentality, from their standpoint. The, the thing you have to balance is the reps and how you break those up. But again, we, we've been able to distribute reps relatively evenly anyway, and even in the course of a game week prep, we do uh, get a lot of work for the first and second unit. So uh, it's a decision, again, that, that Coach Jones will, will, will make um, in, in due time when, Mike, when he's ready to do so. Mike, you've talked about a couple of guys being there stepping up that you think will be a playmaker. Do you feel like you have a, a group of receivers and running backs that have stepped up to show you that they can be Sure. There, there's guys that you, you use the keyword consistent, and it's always interesting. The, the open practice we had the other night is, is a great opportunity for us to evaluate which guys will step up when the lights are on, when there's a crowd in front of them, when there's a little extra pressure. So it's something that will constantly be evaluated through the course of the season. It's something that guys can can and do improve upon over the course of the season. So uh, we have we have some target playmakers that, that obviously we'll focus on uh, for, for the for the Austin P game plan. But um, as the season goes on, obviously guys will mature and develop, and, and, and that could change. Did, did you, go ahead. Mike. Who did you see at the scrimmage that really stepped up in the last round? Uh, well, Devin Young made a, made a nice play on the big catch. Again, we, we were able to distribute the reps, so uh, it, it was you know it, it wasn't like anybody made a ton of plays. But um, but overall, the guys you'd expect, Devin Young, Alton Howard, uh, you know. Ray John, you know, those guys stepped up and made some good plays. We've seen Butch cut Dobbs and Ferguson make, make them live and in practice a little bit. Is that because they've shown how much they've learned, or is that to further expedite the learning curve or combination of both, or what? It, it has multiple purposes. Number one is, again, to add a little more pressure to them, to put them in more of a game-like situation. Uh, frankly, another part is, is for the benefit of our defense. We, we want uh, our defensive front and our defensive uh, and blitzing uh, secondary members or linebackers to 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 get a feel for finishing finishing the pressure and finishing the blitz. So I think it's not just to add the pressure on the quarterback, but it's to help out our defense guys. Do those guys continue to show you that they sort of handle it maybe beyond? They they, the they don't get flustered uh, very easily. That's for sure. What has Tom Smith done to get more reps in practice? Uh, Tom Tom has been pretty consistent. Uh, he, he's worked hard. He's been he's been a leader in that meeting room. Uh, he, he's a high energy guy that that. Uh, demands a lot of the people around him, so he, he's, um, you know, he's done a good job of, of being normal and being consistent. Down. Is Marlon Lane, is he just banged up a little bit, or look, he's been held out of practice a couple yeah, days, but he was when, back when it comes to that, it's, you know, Coach Jones. Oh, okay. Mike, what's the latest you've gone into before season to name a quarterback? Have you gone into, into game week five minutes before the game? The before? day before the game? Yeah. Yes, we've done that. So there's no no problems all doing it again. No. We have to. Not 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 if we have to. No. Where did you do that? At Cincinnati with uh, Brendan Kelly a month ago. Is it surprising to take that stone this long, or did you kind of expect that going in? No, I, I expected the guys to compete, and they are. They're, they're, every day they come come to work with a lunch down hand, and, and uh, their hard hat on, and they go about their business. They're not looking over their shoulder about who's behind them or where they should be or how how the refs are getting invited. Uh, they they. they uh, they've been great in that regard. They, they just come to work and, and try to take advantage of their opportunities. Mike, right. other than the quarterbacks, pretty much it. Do you have a starting position set at this point? I wouldn't say set, bro. We, you know, I, we, we just stressed to our guys just now that training camp's not done, really. You know, we, we have uh, expect to have a very productive day. Uh, Wednesday with meetings, Thursday with with practice, Friday with 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 our mock game. So 
uh, we have a lot of work to be done. And then in the course of the week, you, you know, we expect our guys to continue to develop. So it's an ever-changing, um, the depth chart is ever-changing. And, and, you know, to, to say that it would, would be set at this point would be inaccurate. Are you all starting to get, an, I, I guess, closer to an idea of what you have there at receiver going into the season? Or is that going to be a deal where some guys make some plays in some games and they're right up there near the top? Yeah, you know, I, I often say, the, the formula for success isn't too hard. It's to figure out who, who does something with the ball in their hands and then find a way to get them the ball. And if guys demonstrate uh, a knack for that, then they'll be fed the ball more often. So it, it's something that's ever-changing. If Marvin was healthy, is it he and Rajon still kind of leading away from the tailbacks, or is there that things kind of bunched up there a little bit? They, they've both been very productive. I feel good uh, that both could go into to a game setting. And, and again, I think they're similar backs, so they could both execute our offense uh, Everything in our offense. It's not, you know, I, I've been in systems where we had specialty backs who, who were only third down backs or who weren't good in pass protection. Those guys have similar skill sets and, and, and can do everything we ask them. Is, is Alden still in the mix, too? I mean, obviously he's in the mix, but it, I guess it, where does he stand? He came off that spring game, had a pretty good game. How do you do in this camp? Again, all, all those running backs uh, have been working hard over the course of camp, and, and um, you know, they're, they're all right. Are, are, you, are you a guy that likes to call plays for? Knowing you got one running back back there, there's, there's obviously an advantage to having multiple guys, but uh, some guys like 10, 12, 15 carries just to get going before they get going. Sure, you, you feed the hot hand, that, that's for sure, but um, I'm not sure I follow the question. Just um, are you content with, with spreading it out amongst three backs in a game situation as opposed to rest? Sure, I, I'm always conscious of who's in the game, whether it's at the running back position, whether it's at the receiver position. Even if we make a positional change, let's say we substitute an X receiver for another X receiver, then uh, that's something I'm always aware of and always goes into the play call. We, we often say um, it's players, not plays. So when, when, when I'm calling a situational play, a third down play, uh, the, the focus is definitely on getting the ball into the hands of the playmakers. And, and if certain guys are not in the game, I'm definitely aware of that. Can you elaborate a little bit on the rest of this week? You, you said Thursday and a mock game Friday. What, what are you guys going to do? It's you know situational substitutions, making sure that um, the offense and defense are used to running on the field and off the field, and running the punt team on, and, and you know what, what, maybe which players on offense need to stay on the field when the punt team runs on, and, and same thing with the defense when the punt return team comes on, and you know just different uh, other different situations like maybe a maybe a kickoff after safety, and you know all, all those different types of uh, situations that might come in the course of a game or the course of the season, just to make sure we've rep them. Using multiple quarterbacks in that first game, or would you rather have once you pick a guy? Once guy? Again, the decision on the depth chart is Coach Jones's, so uh, we'll, we'll, you know, I, I think he's better suited to make the comment on that. But uh, we'll we'll play the guy that gives us the best chance. How many of those tight ends are you comfortable with right now going into a, a game? Type? I know you got another couple weeks, but you know, if the game were today, how many would you feel comfortable with? I, to be honest, I feel comfortable with all those guys. Um, you know, they all uh, obviously. Now there's a specific position where they have different skill sets and, and the play calling will change a little bit based on who's in, but um, all those guys uh, can bring something to the table that, that we would utilize. And Ellis is in that group too. Yes, yes. Thank oh, you. absolutely.